for anyone who's been following along, I have never seen any of these movies. And I have somehow managed to go almost 33 years with no spoilers for these movies. I didn't do any Universal rides. I never read any articles. I knew absolutely nothing. I didn't even know this was a Lucas film. Like, I knew nothing about this movie going in. Um, <laughs> but just like like Nathan was saying, from popular culture, like, things have seeped through as references, be they overt or just sort of more background. And so there were a few things, like preconceived notions that I had. I was like, I'm pretty sure... This is going to show up at some point, and I do think they're probably really funny now in hindsight. Um, <laughs> so there were two things I knew to be gospel. Fun little hat, and he has a whip. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> knew that was going to happen. I was under the impression that there might be some, like, vine riding, like Tarzan style, what? you know? And we did. We got, yep. you, you, got, you got a little of that, yeah. We got a wait, little. Wait, wait a couple more movies. <laughs> um i had no idea that this movie was was fighting nazis i thought this took place in the late 1800s i had no clue that this would be like a world war ii movie um i thought there would be like a younger indian like a small child that was his protege like uh, my image was he was like a cantankerous old man and there was a kid that just like warmed the cockles of his heart and he took him on the adventure. That didn't happen. Maybe it will. I was pretty sure there'd be gold, but I thought the gold, because it's Ark, Ark of the Covenant. I didn't know what that was. So I thought like a ship, but that's just the Goonies. So it's not, it's not a pirate ship at all. Um, I figured he would have a catchphrase. He doesn't. I was surprised that there was a romance. Um, and I, I thought there would just be one villain across all the movies like Harry Potter, but I don't, now I don't think the Nazis are going to show up all the time. So I don't think, anyway, so that's what I thought going into it. Obviously okay. not all that held up. Uh, I don't know how interesting that would be that. for people. I love that. But <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It really is. I'm uh, not joking. Yeah. <laughs> that was sort of like my initial impression, but I am so on board with all of you, this movie is magic. I mean, like from the opening scene, the thing that stood out to me immediately were the set pieces. I think all of you here know how much I ride for for practical effects and big oh, sets and things yeah. just feeling real and shooting on these locations, shooting on these big sets, the stakes felt so high immediately in this movie and i think i sent a message to you guys where i was like holy shit it's alfred molina like i <laughs> loved him so much and i was like he died so quickly and i was like no i really want to see more molina i hope he's one of the good guys but it just it's it immediately sets you into this tone of adventure movie and there's um i do think when you've seen what what the movie influences later in life and then you go back to the catalyst sometimes the catalyst doesn't always hold up like i introduced my nieces and nephews to men in black um but they've seen a lot of really good C cgi sci-fi now so men in black for them they were like yeah okay they weren't as wrapped with attention as i was for men in black when it came out um so i was kind of nervous about that but that didn't happen at all you can totally see how this is the blueprint uh, in terms of pacing and storytelling, everything is so tight and clear and concise. The characters are excellent, but it does also just feel um, like you can be transported to the sense of childlike wonder. I think that's the thing that Spielberg does best. Like when he has that, when he's on, when there's a Spielberg movie that you really like, I think it's because you can, I didn't see this until I was 32, but I could, I could feel like I was eight years old watching this mm -hmm. and just be wow, totally that's... awed at this like the the spectacle and the grandeur of everything and how big it all felt and how serious it all felt even though it was very Spielberg mystical um for me my frame of reference for nostalgia is Lord of the Rings that's the movie that I saw with my dad he kept me out of school I've told the story on on the pod before mm -hmm. um I was 10 when the first one came out and then we saw them every year together and uh for me, that movie sitting in the movie theater with my dad and looking up at the big screen and just being like, I'm transported. I'm in this magical realm with magical people 
and anything's possible. And I'm going to learn Elvish and (laughs) read all these books. And I fell in love with it. And at 32 years old, I got to feel that way again. And I was like, this is so cool. That is great. So cool hearing that. It was great. Yeah. Five stars. Perfect movie. 